We're all just background in one another's lives. Cardboard cutouts bumping around in this vague, you know, hurly-burly. Hi, my name is BJ Marshall. I'm Janine Bartel. My name is John Adams. Rachel Bennett. My name is Christina Elizabeth Smith. My name is Rich, and I'll be playing Eddie. Bonnie, Donna, Darlene. Mickey, Phil, in this revival of Hurley Burley. They say sometimes that uh, timing is everything. Well, that couldn't be more poignant than where we are at this moment. I am so utterly transfixed and inspired by David Rabe's play. It is such a brilliant piece of art. It, it depicts the lives of seven people who are very lost. And they, for whatever reason, don't have the skills or the support to go inward and to really look at their own, their own pain, though they do try in their own way. Genesis of this play began very simply. It was just a bunch of uh, fellow passionate actors who got together during a time that it was of isolation and disconnection during the pandemic when uh, all work had shut down and we were just looking for something to do together. And um, so we started reading plays. And very quickly, we found that this play was something that just was resonating with us at, at this time in history. So it just seemed like it was, it was destined to be the very thing we were going to do. Um, it just seemed right. For whatever reason, um, we each started really slowly uh, connecting to these characters without any thought in mind of anything else. And um, all of a sudden we started to see the potential in all of what we were doing. I love the character of Bonnie. I think she is unabashedly human. I think she wears her heart on her sleeve. She's a fighter. She's been a fighter her entire life. And now she's got a child to support. And I understand that as a mother. Uh, when I was contacted about whether or not I'd be interested in joining the cast, I was ecstatic. Um, Hurley Burley is a play that I, along with every other actor that I've ever met, would absolutely give anything to be a part of. As far as my character goes, Donna, I don't even know how I could start talking about her. Um, she's taught me a ton. Parts of working on this has saved me during this time. Um, Donna is so profound and she is relatable as a woman, as a younger woman. Um, she's seen as one note, I think, in the beginning and put into a box and used for one thing and seen as one thing. And I think throughout play, there's a progression of seeing the depth of what's inside of her. Uh, Bonnie's got a couple of lines that I absolutely adore. She talks about desperation and hanging on the basis of her fingernails. And I think we all get that right now. We all get that feeling of being desperate, um, desperate to get outside, desperate to see friends, desperate to hug someone or touch someone, um, desperate to know that there's stability again, <laughs> desperate to know that our future is gonna look different than it does right now. So I think Hurley Burley, although it's set in another time, it's so relevant to where we are today. It was just, you know, the, really the reason behind it, the, the reason behind these characters who are acting out so so much in this play, that, that, they're, that they're doing this, is because they're just dying for connection. They're, they're, they're drowning. They're, they're trying to stay afloat, and they just can't seem to do it. They don't know how to connect. It's really this, the pain of their past is debilitating them. And the only thing they seem to be able to do is to hurt each other or compete with one another. They don't know how to get down to a real genuine connection. The journeys of these characters and the situations that they are in and the situations that they're trying to, to figure out through each other are so prevalent today. It tackles themes of isolation, disconnection, alienation and shame and so much of our pain, our tragedy in our daily lives comes from shame. We categorize people in the wrong way. It's 
to see humanity in this way, that every single person has such profound value and something to give, and you never know who your teacher is. The characters are all unshackled, what, uh, how they express what they want. Everybody's got an agenda and everybody just goes for it. So it is uh, dynamic, exciting, the stakes are sky high. To me, it's a Greek tragedy set in LA in the 80s. Nothing could possibly be better. Well, this pandemic has brought that out on a lot of us. It's been a very difficult time for so many people. You know, suicide rates are up and addiction is up and spousal abuse is up and violence. And why is that? It is my great hope that this play will spur dialogue about how do we connect with each other? What is true connection? What is true connection in the time of very complex social media structures and apps? And how do we still connect with each other? And what is real connection? To see characters at their darkest, to see characters at their weakest, to see characters that are capable of, of doing some of the cruelest things to their so-called friends. Well, this is part of our world. And what's underneath is suffering, uh, having no identity, being scared of what's happening in the world, how it's moving too fast. All of us deal with that. Do I know what I am, who I am, how I exist? I think these characters are asking themselves those questions and I think so are we. These gifted actors that are here are just remarkable. And what they're bringing to this um, revival of Hurley Burley is, I think, unmatched. And now, as we get closer to potentially bringing back New York theater, the idea of actually putting something that you've just been playing with to stay creatively alive and make it a part of the resurgence of theater is beautiful and so incredibly impactful to me. I think New York needs theater. We as artists need theater, you know? <laughs> Theater's been dark in New York for the longest it's ever been. And now it's gonna start to come back to life and we're gonna bring this play in right at that time, which timing couldn't be more perfect. We would be so grateful if you can find it in yourself to donate any money to help us bring this piece this wonderful, wonderful piece to New York City at a time when theater has been dead and help us be one of the first to bring it back. And if you did, we will be very, very grateful. And I promise you, we are going to bring it. We will not let you down. Thank you so much. Sometimes I'm out in the rain and I don't even know it's raining. <laughs>